Boy Pop Smoke, and we locked in with Sarah Harrison, Lady in the Trap. Woo. Lady in the Trap, yeah, the ladies get in the trap with their fellas and they hold them down, and she one of them. You know what I mean? She one of the girls gonna hold you down. You smell me? You feel that, don't you? Feel that, don't you? Hottest artist in the streets right now. He is giving us bangers on bangers. In the trap with myself, Sarah Harrison, Pop Smoke. Yeah. He's here. What's up? Popper. Yeah. Right? That's I heard that that's the, the name your grandma gave you. Has that yeah. got anything to do with Big Papa, Notorious B.I.G.? <laughs> nah, not that. Really? No. I would have thought, you know, the birthplace of of Biggie, and you're from Brooklyn too, mm -hmm. doesn't stem from that at all? No, nah, not at all. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. It's some traditional shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, no, some I feel Panamanian it. Panamanian thing. Yeah. Yeah. Brooklyn has traditionally gone hard for local artists. I mean, the, one of the biggest stories, Jay-Z, back when he came under the wing of Big Daddy Kane. Yeah. Um, I was listening to Hornet podcast, shout out Cypher Sounds and, and Peter Rosenberg, and they <laughs> said, you know, that played a huge role in Jay-Z's come up mm. back in the early days. Do you feel, I feel like that's kind of been a formula with you as well. We saw Brooklyn go hard for you. Yeah. Can you talk to us about that feeling of, of your borough going so hard and why, why you think Brooklyn stands out the most from all of the, the New York boroughs? I mean, yeah, you're right though. They, they really take into it. Yeah. They like it. Yeah. They do. Is it is it something that just kind of spreads like a virus? Like, is it, it starts from your community and then like, cause I've I've never seen anything like it. <laughs> Same with Bobby Schmurder, you know, like the yeah. whole the whole bar is behind it. What does that feel like? Yeah, it's lit. You know what I'm saying? It's mm. So I appreciate it. Yeah, of course. Yeah, you know I mean. Yeah, of course. Are you aware of um, that impact that you have as an artist, right? And and your music, the impact that your music is having. Are you aware of of not just the fun side of your of your music and the hook the hook and the catchy side of your music, but even the messaging that you put in your music? Are you aware that you are now that person that young kids will look up to? Because I'm I'm seeing like viral videos of your track being played at like weddings, like kids parties, <laughs> family barbecues. So yeah. this is not just this is not just the streets that are getting yeah. behind this. Are you aware of the messaging? Yeah, they really going crazy to it. Yeah, I, I appreciate it. Like they really showing love. Yeah, because yeah. I heard when you made this this project specifically, meet the woo, this first um, sort of side of it. Yeah. You you said it was your angry side, right? Yeah, I was angry. What what did that anger stem from? Yeah, you know, just growing up, where we come from, you know, it ain't really the sweetest, you know what I mean? But what are you angry about specifically? Can you pinpoint it? You know what I'm saying? It's just not really angry, you know, but you know, things go on. Things go on, so it's not, we're not just jolly every day, if yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, we're not just walking around super happy. I'm saying things that struggle. Yeah, we're yeah. We're going through it over there. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? So we're just talking about, when I say angry, I'm saying we're talking about what's really going on on them sides. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? How do you feel like you can overcome that anger? Because I feel like mental health in the black community specifically has come to the forefront in recent years. So how could you sort of contribute to helping move that narrative of being angry? You know, I don't know. I'm trying to show the youths a new way, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Show them a different, different vibe, a different way to cope with it. You know what I mean? It's easy to pick up a gun or a knife or a weapon, you know what I'm saying? Is that going to translate in your next Let's get sort of money. rollout of the music? I'm showing them how to get money, you know Absolutely. what I'm saying? Absolutely, yeah. How to move right, you know what I'm saying? Talk proper, you know what I'm saying? Get Get they, get they, get they gangster on, you heard? Get they double G on. Absolutely, and you know, you've thrown names like Meek Mill before in the mix and, and yeah. French Montana. They have absolutely created that blueprint. Mm -hmm. You know, someone like Those are the big Mills. homies. Hmm? Those are my big homies. Absolutely, man. I just was talking to Meek yesterday. What was he saying? He said, yo, Pop, man, we gotta do that record, man. <laughs> We got a record coming though soon, you know what I'm saying? It started and you need to finish it off or you guys are just throwing ideas at each other kind of thing? I'm throwing ideas, you know what I'm saying? Right. Because you know, no, when we get in the studio, we just be like, oh, that's fire. Oh, but that's fire. Oh, but this one fire, you know what I'm saying? You never know which one 
which one we want to do yeah but yeah. we're gonna we're gonna get there i think we're gonna it's gonna, it's gonna be one of the days we in the studio the whole night and we just get one you know that's the key man because those those studio nights you you'll be exchanging stories from each other's hoods i mean i know you spent time in philly for for a while so i think you guys can connect mentally on that too yeah. i'm interested to know what what kind of production you're going with on that one because mm -hmm. i know meek can can mm -hmm. jump from one sort of style to the other pretty yeah. seamlessly and i yeah. feel like you can do too because you know yeah. i've heard ptsd and yeah. you're on that traditional 80 to 90 bpm new york i'm mm -hmm. really interested what actually swayed you to drill in initially like what yeah. made you actually you know this is what i'm gonna go for to break me no i don't know i really don't know <laughs> really i tell you all the time i don't know what made me pick that beat you know what I'm saying? But that was the first peak, the first beat I ever picked. Not only did you pick it, you ran with it. Like, yeah. the, you know, that was the theme of the project. Because it went. Yeah. So and you once said you, you... Once something hit, you know what I mean? Yeah. You got to keep going with it. If you see if you see it's, it's working, why switch it up? You know what I'm saying? Formula. Yeah. I'm not going to cheat. Right. I mean, another hook with you is your voice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you be getting these females pregnant in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying what I'm reading. Yeah, Were you aware that that you know, because your speaking voice is is not as low as your as your rapping voice? Did you kind of realize? Oh, hang on, like let's work with the like let me work with the engineer on this and make it a thing, like make it a hook for me, or was it is it just come coming naturally? I mean, well, obviously, you know, just this is my speaking voice, not my rapping voice. You know what I'm saying? No, of course. You know but saying? I feel like so, there's so like some rap, added you... plugins, like that you're giving, nah. like that, that that bottom end. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, I guess you just gotta come to the studio and see. Hey, it, it I'm no down with that. In, you know what I'm saying? What about Nicki Minaj? Has she been in the studio with you since after she jumped on the? Nah, I'm not sure. We both been running around, but you know we probably locking, locking. You know what I'm saying? But have you had conversations with her? Of course, Nicki. That's the queen. That's one of the queens. You know what I'm saying? I'm I've... interested to hear what she has to say because you know she's <laughs> kind of like t taking a back seat, and rightly so. You know she had that that big success in the pop market. But mm. she, when she jumped on that remix and I heard it, it was like Chirac Nikki's back. Like I loved what she did with that beat back in mm. 2016. Mm. Did you say to her, look, look, look Nikki, let's, let's keep this energy going together. Like let's, let's put out these records together. Cause I think she needs that, that momentum from someone like you. She'd yeah. like, she'd welcome it. Yeah, I'll see. I talked to her. <laughs> <laughs> what about Cardi? <laughs> Yeah, Cardi I love Cardi. Right. I love Cardi. Cardi's another queen. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully I work with her too. You know what yeah. I'm saying? She's amazing. Another thing about your voice, people have said that you'd be good for R&B. Can we see you hop on R&B? <laughs> yeah. Really? <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> maybe. <but laughs> Is that like know. a... <laughs> R&G R &B. maybe? Like R a man gangsta? Ooh. Hey. <laughs> Yo, I think, is that, right that okay, okay, you're, you're creative. <laughs> That's fire. Yeah, Rhythm and Gangsta, right? I might have to make the new shit like that, Rhythm yeah. and Gangsta. Well, you say I'm a gentleman and, yeah, you I'm say a I'm a gentleman and, and a gangsta. Yeah, that's a fact. All right, so what's, what, what's, what will Pop Smoke, the gentleman, be like? Like this. Composed. Yeah. You never know what you're thinking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really? I'm, I'm just saying, saying, I'm just saying. And yeah, final cool. question then. Will Pop Smoke ever go pop? Mm, you're going to see, man. You know, wherever, wherever the vibe take us, I just got a vibe, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully, hopefully, you know, obviously, like, um, nature has brought me around stuff like this. Mm. So hopefully, you know, God will keep blessing me and, you know, that's, that's opening it. more, opening new doors and gates to different venues, so. That's right, I love that. Yeah. That's it, we have to wrap it up, sorry man. Yeah. I had way more questions, yeah, but. Yeah, yeah, let's do yeah. it. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you.